Hi guys, today we're going to be doing this Christmas scene in PowerPoint with some animated snowflakes. So let's jump right into it. So all we're going to do is have a blank slide and we're just going to change the layout to blank. So we've just got a blank canvas to work with. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the background right the background right now to black. This won't be our final background, but um, that's what we're going to be doing um, for now. Now we can start by creating snow at the bottom and we can do that by creating some ovals which you can find in the home tab in the shapes right here and it'll probably be you can always go in basic shapes here to get an oval and you can just draw it out it should be very elongated as an oval and um, and we're going to pull it to the bottom of the slide so this is like the first of our snowy hills and what we're going to do is we're going to in this format shape tab which you can get by just for example um, in, in the shape fill tab and just go shape fill here in the shape format and go gradient and then more gradients okay okay so we've got the format shape up here and we're going to click gradient fill now right now the gradient looks a bit weird and it's a bit off but we're going to make it so that we've but we're going to make it so that we've got a white at the top here and then a dark blue at the bottom over here and we can choose any dark blue i'm going to choose this one over here which is just blue accent five darker five darker 50 percent even there we go um and right now it looks a bit weird that probably won't look probably won't look as weird on you because i've got it on radial and you can change the type here to linear and there we go and just change the angle back down to um 90 i think yeah 90. And while we're at it, we can also change in line, just click on the shape again, and just change in line to no line. So we've just got a white snow effect that's that's going in into the into the slide as our snow. Now we can just copy this, go con control C, uh, just or control V, or you can just hold control and drag. There we go, we can elongate this even further. And send backwards that again and elongate it less so and send backwards so there we go we've got our main hills done now we're going to go and find some Christmassy um, things here and you can just go to Christmas cottage right here and just copy any one I'm just going to find a easy, very easy one to, to do and we're just going to copy and paste that in here so then what we're going to do is go to picture format. This is a really cool trick. And what you're going to do is just go to transparent, uh, sorry, color and go set transparent color, transparent color. And you're just going to hover over with this mouse and just click on the white. So there we go. That just is a much easier way of getting rid of the background than doing this removed background nonsense. So what we're going to do next now is add in a Christmas tree because it's supposed to be Christmassy. So all I'm going to do is just find something online and then just go control C, control V. We've got a Christmas in here. Christmas tree in here and if it's got a background you can always use the remove background here um, and if you don't know how just click in this one minute tutorial which will show you how to do the Christmas tree or whatever just remove the background and it is exactly one minute one minute actually I'm not joking but anyway we've got our Christmas tree right here uh, we could decorate it but we can't can't be bothered right now you can do it in your own time and we're also going to size down the house it's going to be like in the background so there we go and center back so what we're going to do now is just hold control <coughs> and we're just gonna copy this over here uh, oh sorry let's try that again there we go and just elongate it out and then we're going to send to back once again okay we're gonna send this one to back as well um, there we go so we have our Christmas scene and now what we need to do is add some like stars and moons in the sky and things like that so what we're going to do is just click on the oval which should be now in your recently used and you're just going to click anywhere on the presentation and you get a perfect oval and that's fine we're going to make the shape fine we're going to make the shape for white and shape outline none okay we have a moon in the sky you might want to size it up a bit if you want it and we want it like full moon because that looks way better if you want a crescent moon you can always make it a crescent moon by going into the there's, there's a crescent somewhere um 
yeah, right here, see? Uh, right here, see? Um, in the basic shapes, there's a, there's a moon there, if you wanted. But I, I like the look of the full moon. And what you can also do is just pull this up so that you can see what, what it looks like as a whole, since we've got stuff sticking out of the slides. So now what we're going to do is change the background. We're going to add a, and we're actually going to put it in the center of our, of our moon. You'll see why soon. So you can see it's completely in the center. We're going to shape outline, none, shape fill, gradient, more gradients. And we're going to click on gradient fill and we're going to go radial. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make it a very like dark blue-ish color. So we could make it um, this one, we could make this black even, and then this like, like bluish, bluish. So like we could choose this dark blue here, this dark blue here maybe. Um, that's a bit dark, so we can just make it there and make this one actually. Um, the, you just need to basically play around with it. Make also when you're doing the radial, try and go into um, direction and choose the middle one right here. So we're in radial. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Um, and we can actually darken this one if you want it to be darker on the outside. Um, yeah, so that's nice. So what we can do now is we can hold Control Shift. Okay, there we go. We've sized it all the way up. Uh, we can hold con control and just size it in a bit and there we go now send this to back and we now have a nice a nice gradient around here and we can actually size this down even further it's a bit too much there we go um, and what we're going to do actually is we're going to make this on this side because it's supposed to be a very dark night sky and you'll see i will make it actually a bit lighter by doing something cool later so what we're going to do is click on the moon now um, and once again you can pull this up um, so that you can see what it looks like because we've now got like weird stuff um, going off the page and stuff so we can't see it so we're going to go into shape format and we're going to go shape effects and go glow and we're going to go more options and we're going to change the glow to some sort of light blue-ish. So um, I'm just going to go this sort of blue. And we're going to size it all the way up as high as you can go. And you can see high as you can go. And you can see that sort of gives it effect, especially here, like the moon is glowing. It, it adds that sort of feature and it looks really nice. And it fades into the night sky, so it looks very nice. Now we're going to add in some stars. We're going to go home um, and you can play around with this, just do the star shape. Size this up, move this down, oh, too much. Okay, and we're just gonna dot them around. And obviously it's gonna be white, no outline, okay? So it's just gonna be in a nice guide like this. Okay, and so you can play around with this. Once again, look in here to see where your stars are over the page, because otherwise you can put them up here and you can't even see them. Big star, so we're gonna size that down actually. So you just want to move these stars and you don't need to do too many either um, and you can have another star on the other side I guess so control shift put star here size it a bit and then copy in another star here okay so we've got a few stars in the nice sky now and we're going to add in some ovals um, with the circle feature here just click and we're going to go control shift and just make it a bit smaller we're going to go shape outline white and shape um, sorry shape outline none and shape fill white now what we're going to do is we're going to just move this over here next to the moon and these are just stars that don't really twinkle i don't know why but like we've got some stars that don't twinkle so there we go let's just Control this over here, size it up a bit, uh, zoom in, there we go, it's nice. Um, and we are going to actually add some snow and some silhouettes of trees at the back. But for the back, but for this video, um, we're almost done. So here we go, let's just add some more circles. And there we go, let's just do this really quickly. There we go, we have our first Christmas scene, not animated at all, and no snowflakes or silhouettes of trees are behind it. 
If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button below to learn how to animate the scene and add some silhouettes in the trees below to make it look just like this. See you next time.